As serene as a lake may seem, danger is always lurking beneath the soft lapping waves. Over the last 48 hours, the head of the police marine unit, Engineer James Wapora, has been busy with a rescue effort near Mutima Beach in Mukono in a bid to recover any survivors or bodies after the ill-fated Cape Ham boat capsized, claiming 32 lives. Away from this, he has also had to deal with a lean team of divers who he trains on a regular basis to carry out emergency rescue efforts. Research by the Lake Victoria Basin Commission in 2015 shows that an estimated 5,000 people die in drowning incidents on Lake Victoria annually. This high number covers fatalities in Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania, which also share the lake. The research has indicated that the accidents are mostly caused by overloading, the lack of life-saving equipment and unstable vessels. For his part, Apora says Uganda Police Marine Unit has 28 marine detachers on its four major lakes. A detach consists of six officers and a boat. Lake Victoria alone has 17 detaches, which Apora admits is vastly inadequate for a lake of its size. have uh, uh, five, five big boats for, for, for responses, which are speed boats. Eh? Mm. And we have positioned them in the waters of Ginger at Ripon. We have two big boats there. That's a fire boat and a high-speed patrol boat. And then uh, at our base here, we have uh, we have uh, we have, uh, we, have uh, we have actually four. Usually, the time between the first distress call and rescue is 20 to 30 minutes. However, some emergencies may not be attended too early enough. In my view, we are still uh, below standard because we, uh, our distribution mm. on the water showers are still few, even in the island. Mm. And the only way we can uh, ensure that our response time is improved mm. is to make sure that we open up more, more, more detaches which are close to each other. Besides relying on police, private rescue operators are advising communities living near water bodies to learn survival skills to help people caught up in lake disasters. And it's a must for every rescuer to be trained in rescue because you will find um, on each incident there is a, a, a specific you know, rescue technique that is needed. So if you are not trained in rescue, it's better not to go for the rescue. Before one steps onto a boat, they need to be equipped with life-saving equipment. Unfortunately, most equipment on the market is not suitable. Traders are bringing life jackets from all over walks of uh, supplies, from China, from other countries. Uh -huh. But the one fact you need to know about a life jacket is that it supports a specific weight of a person that is is going to wear, mm -hmm. but the, a standard life jacket, which is normally recommended for 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 for, for persons of an adult, mm -hmm. at least should be able to to carry a weight of a hundred and twenty, a hundred fifty. For instance, a life jacket costs one hundred dollars, while a rescue tube costs one hundred and eighty dollars. The government recently approved a loan worth $24 million from the African Development Bank to build water safety training and resource centers. The first phase of this capacity building will take off next month. Gillian Nantume, NTV Tonight.